as part of the implementation before before starts production system production system usage all production system usage okay okay now when now as part of the implementation project now we are what we are doing we are implementing the business the we are implementing sap for adani group for, for example what we what we are discussing from the beginning now we reached okay we have done the configuration and business is simultaneously business is performing a testing okay as part of the testing okay you have prepared so many documents that is fine but before let's say the time has come okay now first of let's say for example from 1st of august onwards the business would like to start the okay production system usage okay at that point of time what we need to do okay we need to bring we need to bring their existing system all master data and as well as line items data and trial balance information into the sap system okay as part of the implementation okay what is the process means first which data we need to bring into the system remember anyhow company code company company code or the configuration related information anyhow we are going to make it ready and then by releasing the transport request the transport requests okay with help of the transport requests okay everything will be available company company code okay uh, gl i mean the gl uh, gl account groups customer groups vendor groups number ranges everything will be uh, or number ranges again we need to map by the manually okay now after everything will be available we need to we need to upload the master data first we need to upload the master data master master data and what kind of master data we need to upload into the into the system then the master data one is a first we need to upload the general ledger general ledger master data general ledger master data okay why the priority number one is a general ledger master data means after uploading general ledger master data only we can upload the customer vendor even line items data because to up to upload suppose let's say the the organization uh, the user will try to upload the customer data first what will happen okay without uploading the gl master data in the gl accounts only okay we have created the reconciliation accounts for that customer which which reconciliation account is for normal postings which reconciliation account is for special uh, for advanced postings then without knowing all that information again okay then even customer even the user can able to upload customers first before the general ledger but what will happen okay again they need to upload into the each and every customer master record the reconciliation account and as well as the okay Okay, advanced related special gl related gl account so that is the manual activity or again they need to perform some other through the ls and w and all again they need to perform separate activity so instead of that one first they first we need to upload the general ledger master data then the second one is after uploading as soon as uploading customers whatever they want to customer master data customer master data then vendor vendor master data then the next one is a asset master data asset master data maybe material master data material master data okay if we have in controlling cost center data okay profit center data cost element data okay internal order data internal orders rele relevant data and also bank master data here also in fi if we talk about okay bank master data 
Okay, all this, all this line item, all this master data we need to bring into SAP system. Once the master data, once whatever the required master data, okay, once all the master data will be available into the system, into the system, then we need to bring into the, the next activity is the line items upload. line items upload the what is the line items okay now the line items the line items data when we are going to upload the line items now i have the okay bank balance now i have the one lakh rupees in my bank account or else for example i have to receive payment from the customer let's say for example total is a 10 lakhs rupees it is there then what the payment which i want to make payment to the vendor let's say five lakhs rupees which is open okay all this we can call it as a line items means which the line items are open in the existing system those line items we need to bring into the sap system okay then to upload the line items okay we need to we have a separate process okay before uploading the line items first we need to upload the trial balance trial balance into the trial balance into the system then once the trial balance will be uploaded we need to upper we need to upload the each and every activity general ledger line item first general ledger line items line items then the second one is a customer customer line items customer line items then the third one is a vendor line means remember the line items the customer or vendor gl whatever it may be all it is included advanced as well as the okay open line invoice item okay vendor line items and asset values asset values means asset values also we need to bring into the system all these values which we need to okay the asset values if it is a if uh, anyhow it is going to part of the general ledger only okay the, then so general ledger gl line items customer line items vendor line items okay then we need to bring all these line items okay into sap okay now we are talking about okay now everything master data we need to bring now i have the let's say for example remember the count i will mention okay volume i will mention volume of data volume of records okay let's say for example now for general ledger, I have the, let's say, for example, 500 master records, which I want to bring for customer masters. Let's say, for example, I have the 20,000 customers in my in my organization. Then vendors, maybe I have the 15,000 vendors, which I have. Then assets, I have around 25,000 is there. Okay. Then material, maybe I have the different kind of 5,000. For bank master data, maybe I have the... 20 records okay now we are talking about okay now we are talking about okay every master data we need to bring into the system now the date the volume of the records now i have the 500 records then 2000 records of customer vendor and asset master material master and bank master okay is it possible to create manually absolutely it cannot possible okay the reason being that now if you can create by manually each and every master record to create the general ledger master data how much time does it take okay and also it's absolutely cannot be possible okay so to overcome this situation okay how to what are the ways okay to bring this master data either master data okay line items okay what are the options which are available for master data purpose most are the cases okay now to bring the to bring the master data what are the options okay to bring the legacy master data i'll mention to bring the legacy master data into SAP, into SAP, what are the options available? Means what are the mechanisms which we have, okay, in standard SAP, within standard SAP system. Maybe we can use the option number one, we can use is a 
LSNW. LSNW stands for Legacy System Migration Work. The program is a, it is standard delivered by SAP system. Okay, we need to okay record we need first okay there are two methods are there okay recording method most of the cases which we can use for which we can follow the recording method okay lsnw okay legacy system migration work the transaction code if i go straight forward then slash n l s m w c so this is the pro this is the Okay, this is the program what standard has been standard SAP has been delivered. Okay, here there are around 14, uh, 13 steps are there. 13 or 14 steps are there. We need to, okay, prepare this one. Okay, I will I will show you how we need to record the uh, fields, okay, to the particular, uh, any anyone we can say, either GL master, customer, vendor, whatever it may be. I will show you any one of the example. Okay, now, LSNW is there. The way one way is there LSNW legacy system migration work. The second one is a MDGS is there. MDGS is the one of the tool. Now in it is in a whoever implementing the S4 HANA. Even it is there the functionality even in EC6 also. Nowadays every client is adopting the MDGS. MDGS is a master data governance. Okay, is a separate tool where we can bring the data by using MDGS functionality. Okay, MDGS is a okay to more to uh, create the master and every uh, master data and uh, everything okay the separate team will be there mdgs master data governance okay separate team is there to to bring the master data okay we need to okay either we can use lsnw or mdgs functionality okay now to bring the line items to bring the line items into the system remember to bring the legacy to bring the legacy line items line items data into sap okay remember okay we need to bring the line items now we have this we have discussed about this thing now we are clear about this one now how to bring these line items data into sap okay now because let's say for example Okay, let's say for example, if the data volume is more, okay, the trial balance, maybe we have the trial balance, okay, debit and credit, both it will become maximum is a 200 line items. So for example, fine data okay, volume is a less, we can we can bring this records easily by using the LSNW, LSNW functionality. Then general ledger line items, the GL line items, maybe I have the, let's say for example, is a 50,000 records are there. Then customer line items, I have the 30,000 all together, maybe the 60,000 records are there. Then vendor line items, 80,000 records are there. Just for your information here. The volume of data here, it is more, okay, even, to bring this to bring this line items also to bring this line items data also either i can use lsnw the first priority is lsnw then the second one the second one is a bdc programs bdc is a batch data conversion okay these programs which we need to develop which we need to sit with the technical team okay the customization program according to the client requirement okay we need to develop this program batch data conversions now okay bdc programs are the one more mechanism is their idocs idocs okay these are the ways are available to bring the data to bring the data from the from the legacy system to sap systems okay most are the cases will be used by the okay lsnw and bdc programs okay if it is a volume is a less most are the cases will be used lsnw only then bdc programs will be used if the data volume is more i will show you the example which uh, I have worked in the real time. I will show you how the templates are looks like. So I will show you the templates. Then afterwards, I will cut over activities. What we could say, these activities we can say, but anyhow, in the real time project, what I'm going to cover all the activities, you don't worry. Then, back, cut over. Okay, now you can see here, 
how I need to upload the GL balances. Okay, GL balances, open items upload, vendor, vendor. Okay, this is a group wise. This is the vendor group. So what we had created during the implementation project. Now, see, GL account. Let's say, for example, GL accounts. Okay, how we need to prepare the okay gl accounts okay these are the gl accounts which i want to upload into the system okay template the ls and lsm w template will be differ okay this is a customer related okay now for gl template i will prepare you don't worry now here let's say for example okay what are the vendor items which we need to upload okay the after uploading these are the with this we have downloaded okay now the customer if i go to the customer for customers related which customers we have uploaded then afterwards we just have downloaded okay now the templates we have the separate templates are there okay how to prepare the data master data into the okay now open items upload now open items upload template this is the template for open items for fb01 remember these are the customers template now you can see everything will be there in this one now you can see now if i want to upload okay gl balance it now remember you can see here in this one template okay it is having the all the okay information now if i want to upload balance it related gl accounts okay which information is to be required means these are all the fields okay bookers is a company code now you can see here company code must have to include and also then this is the one is a document type if you want to upload this is the line items upload means that remember this is a template for which i want to upload okay line items of the balance sheet okay it's not for the gl upload okay this is the this is a template format which is for the okay g general ledger profit and loss account related information this is for vendor love vendor line items upload template okay vendor line items now you can see how we need to upload just given the information how okay what are the information which we need to consider while uploading into the system remember then customer instructions okay what are the instructions which we need to follow then open items upload template this is the completely open items upload either you can use for vendor and customer means total this is a template okay remember but for customer to upload the master data for master data separate template will be there now you can see this is the bdc program which we had used you can see here okay the bdc program this is a completely we don't understand it's a completely okay accounting accounting document header accounting document segment detail okay gl account master records then gl account master records chart of accounts and a company code everything this has been the program has been developed uh, customized by the technical people we don't understand it's a completely 27 pages of this code is, is there okay but now the program according to our instructions according to our client requirement the the technical people has been developed this program okay each and okay like how we have seen the template open items template right right we have seen the template of the okay open items upload okay we have seen the same way the same way however we have seen here the same way we need to prepare the separate template for gl separate for customer separate for vendors and okay others also we need to prepare okay separately okay each and every template we have to prepare okay separately remember okay now okay so what are the methods which what are the mechanisms means or what are the tools available to bring the legacy line items data into sap system these are the tools are available and also to bring the master data these are the tools are available okay remember okay remember this is the important for you and data takeover okay uh, i mean if i start now again we we have to one moment <coughs> 